Oh, it looks like Rex is having a pumpkin spice muffin. Hmm, looks like there's something wrong with the filling, bud. What's going on guys? It's Monday afternoon. Uh, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, 1.48. So, that's not too bad. You know, not too bad. Freaking got up late today because I was up late last night editing and cutting and having fun with the computer and learning and all sorts of things. Got taught a couple new tips on video editing. Stuff that I never even thought of and it works out pretty good. So, that's freaking sweet. But um, one of the top comments here, and I'm going to show you right here. There we go. It's, uh, I have three Les Pauls, but only one is a Gibson. Awesome guitars. Love them. In my last vlog, there was this huge heated discussion, and I caught on afterwards what the hell was going on. People were talking about my gold electric guitar. And they're like, holy crap, who would put a $2,000 guitar on a stand and all sorts of stuff. Like They're just going off. And it was a thread that I was like, you know what, I am not jumping into this. Because it's like, guys, it's not a $2,000 guitar. It's not a Les Paul even. Let me show you. This is the guitar they're talking about. This guy right here. This guy right here. It looks like a Les Paul. You get it up to the top and, oh, what's that? Barracuda. Yeah, she's a filthy guitar too. It's just a clone. I only paid like 300 bucks or something like that for it. It was really cheap. It sounds eh. You know, it's not bad. I bought it for the style. It's obviously sat for a while because it is caked with dust and it needs a wipe down. It also needs new strings because those strings are pretty nasty. Pretty, pretty nasty. It's not a Les Paul, people. It's a cheap imitation knockoff. Barracuda. And the guy who was selling these from Music City, when they came in, he was like, why are you bringing in this cheap Chinese shit? That's exactly what he said. He was so upset. They're like, oh, I'll put them for 300 bucks and people will think they're Les Pauls and buy them and, and, and think they're freaking awesome and stuff. But in the end, they're not that great. But for what I use it for, which is barely anything, because I don't really play often enough anymore, um, it's perfect. <laughs> so... I wanted to clear that air because a lot of people were just like flipping tits about it and there was a huge flame war and big fight going on in the comments a couple videos back and I was like holy shit people you're fighting over my guitar thinking it's something it's super not so figured I'd inform you guys so now you know and knowing is half the battle there you go G.I. Joe's seal of approval it's over it's over holy shit yeah Friggin' nice day out today, that's for sure. Nice green grass, needs a cutting, you know, that's the way she goes. Nice blue skies, about frickin' time. Hopefully it's not too windy tonight, because I don't have the wind muffler on the camera. And I don't plan on reinstalling it, so. But, uh, yeah, yesterday it actually worked out pretty good, no clicking. The wind does cock it over, but, uh, what can you do, right? Oh, it's the bus. It's the bus. One person said just put a piece of electrical tape over top of the mic. Personally, I don't think that would work because then you'd really have to yell at the camera to get your sound to come through. Where with the Band-Aid, it has the cotton that lets some sound through, but still it does muffle it. And I have no idea why the Band-Aid was causing a ticking sound. It made no sense. There must have been a piece of dirt on it or something that was, that was touching the mic or I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I spent the good part of last night uh, basically learning some new editing techniques. Because I've always had problems with color correction and stuff like that. So these techniques basically show me a couple ideas on how to make my videos pop. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to try it and see how it works. I did it on a couple of the Skaven videos. And I was actually impressed because I found the old Samsung C10 really washed out the videos. And there was no way around it back then because I was using Intelli Studios to edit. And Intelli Studios has like no features. It's pretty laid back. There's no jump cut, nothing. If you wanted to jump cut in Intelli stu uh, Studio, what you had to do was bring two copies of the clip in and then uh, trim the clips down and then that was classified as a jump cut. Yeah, it's pretty dicked. Pretty dicked indeed. But Intelli Studios also didn't support uh, any color matching or anything. All it had was the ability to import and splice clips together. 
It was very, very, very basic. Mind people, the Skaven videos are really short because back then I was following the Dave and Rickham friggin' uh, board where they're like, don't upload like 30 minute videos. Nobody watches 30 minute videos. Upload it. No more than five minute video. If your video's longer than five minutes, nobody's gonna watch it. So I followed that. Now I don't. Now I just make the videos as long as I want and if people watch them, then right on. You know, and so far, I notice when I make a short vlog, people bitch about it. They get mad because they wanted a longer video. And uh, so now it's like, I can't make short videos, but that's fine, you know. Some days are shorter than others because I don't do much. And other days are longer than others because I do a lot. But um, yeah, I just find it funny how I went from the Skaven channel to making these like three to five minute long videos and just posting them out. And then I went to uh, this channel here and now if the video is under 15 minutes, I'm, I'm, I'm really upset with myself. I'm like, Frig, this sucks. The video is not even 15 minutes long. This is horrible. And when it's like 30 minutes long, I'm like, holy crap, this is epic. You know, <laughs> I was actually able to find stuff to do for 30 minutes, to talk about for 30 minutes. That, that's freaking insane. And that's basically how I feel when I'm editing, just so you get an idea. And um, yeah. It's the way she goes, the way she freaking goes. Alrighty, well, I just entered that super note thing. Uh, you've probably already seen the video for it because it's already up. Basically, I'm trying to give my boy Wilson Tech One a little bit of a hand to uh, get a bunch more freaking uh, points on this contest. And yes, people, it is a contest. Basically, the one who has the most video responses with the most length of the super note so like for instance i did mine it was 22 seconds long let's say you know billy jumps in and does one for 30 seconds and then you know because he doesn't smoke so he can probably go longer and then like everybody else jumps in does like you know 20 10 30 somebody pulls it off for a minute what happens is they take all the times of the super note and they add them together so like if billy goes for 30 and i'm 20 lots of 50 second super note on on team wilson tech one you know, on Team Stop It. So, the more people who submit these videos, the better chance he's gonna win. Am I well, doing one? What, what? Am I? What? Am I doing one? Come what on. do you want? I, I wanna do one too. I, I don't think they would accept the fact that you're a talking cat. Why, are they racist like that? Like, come on, let me do one. No, I, I don't think it'd be a, a bright idea, bud. I, I, don't, I really don't think so. Oh, come on, why? Oh, I don't. Why? You think people are ready to accept you as a talking cat? Like, it's bad enough you talk on my videos. Yeah, but, but. People like me as a talking kitty. All right. Well, come on, please. Uh, Felix wants to submit one, but I don't yeah. know how that would work because, you know, in reality, cats can't really what? do anything. Hey. I'm sorry, bud. Not nice. He shouldn't be allowed to talk. That's the thing. I do. You know, he's going to get picked up by the FBI or something freaking weird. Talking kitty. But, uh... He wants to submit one too to Wilson Tech. Yeah. So he might go ahead and do that. I don't know. We'll see. I might. I don't know how long he's going to go for, but... Uh, 48 minutes. Oh, whatever. We'll, we'll get him to submit one and just go from there. But uh, I'm going to have a cigarette, then i got to head out. Actually, no, I don't even have time for a cigarette. Freak sakes. i got to head out the door. All right, let's rock and roll, and I just noticed the battery's about to die, so good thing I noticed. Change of the battery. Let's go. All right, people. You're probably thinking, wow, it's quite the wide-angle shot you got there, Adam. And what I say to you is... Thanks, I work out. No, what I really say to you is, um, yeah, I got the uh, Canon ELPH here set up on one of my Deal Extreme freaking tripod window mounts. Just having a bitch of a time keeping her stabilized. But uh, this camera does have a stupid wide angle on it, and I do mean a stupid. It's nice and wide, and you know, shows the whole road. Actually, looks like I'm probably going slower than 50 kilometers an hour. So yeah, I had some fun doing that super note thing. I don't know, it's, uh, I, I don't like entering contests like that where you just gotta sit there and do one thing because, you know, who wants to watch a guy hum for 20 seconds? <laughs> I'm just saying, I have no idea what Rhett and Link were thinking when they made this contest a couple years ago. But uh, whatevs, you know, I entered for Wilson Tech because I support that guy. Out of all the big YouTubers, he's still the one I find that puts a lot of heart and soul into his videos, and I appreciate that. Well, him and Mosh. I freaking love Mosh. Those guys are just ridiculous. Over exaggerating everything. Which means why it's so funny, right? That's why it's so funny. So yeah, um, so I did that super note thing just to you know show my support for WT1. Dub T1. And then uh, now I gotta freaking head her off to work. Son of a bitch, eh? Son of a bitch.
I have to see what happens. They're talking about, uh, well, they shut the trains down on Friday, right? And so now they got a whole slew of conductors that are uh, being laid off. Well, the company's finding them jobs, but they're finding conductors who live in North Bay jobs in Moose and E. And basically, if they shut down, say, our job, uh, they could turn around and say, well, you're going to have to move to Moose and E, Moose Factory, and take a clerk job. And theoretically, they could do that. Now, I was thinking, you know, that's just a fear strategy for um, hoping that we say, no, we're not going to do that. We're not moving to Moose and E. Then it's like, well, then you're out of the company. Have a nice day. You're done. We don't need you. You're fired, you know? And then you don't get no severance pay, no nothing. You're done. Seeing how the government's big plan is to shut down the ONR, if I had to move to Moose and E for six months and just put in a little bit of time there until they shut her down, so be it. It'll be worth it. Because that's the government's plan is to try and get as many people to quit before they actually have to start paying out the severance. Which, you know, it's, it's a good strategy. I gotta give them props for that. That's a damn good strategy. I do, I do concur. I would try, try and do everything possible to avoid having to pay out the ass to have people sitting at home too. So it completely makes sense to me why they're doing this. You know, it's a dickhead move, but it's a move. Oh, freak. Is this a collision? Something keeps beeping. This guy's trying to turn and he can't because he's blocked in. Well, I'm gonna go to Subway for lunch. Haven't done that in a while. And the uh, main reason is because I have nothing at home to make sandwiches. So tonight after work, I might have to boot scoot over to uh, friggin' Sobeys and get some bread and some bologna because buying Subway every day is going to get expensive if I do that. I kind of want to keep it on the cheap because I really kind of sort of want my son of a bitch glasses. Holy shit. Friggin' heat's on in the car. It's like 23 degrees Celsius out right now. Talk about a big change in the weather. The weather's just kaif. Oh, freak sakes. I'm not gonna make this turn, am I? Nope. Son of a bitch. Holy shit, that intrepid almost bottomed out leaving the driveway. That was hardcore. Oh man, I love how wide the angle is. You guys can see all lanes. This camera rocks. If it wasn't for the 10 minute record time. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this turn. Because people dawdle. They dawdle at the light. Light turns green and they sit there with their fingers up their arse. Freak sakes. Well, that's one way to counteract the 10 minute record time is just stop the video when you're at a stoplight and then restart it, I guess. But um, last night on TGN, the uh, there was a guy on there talking about how to make your videos look more cinematic and he was showing a bunch of tips. And he was talking about how people say they don't have, have money for camera gear. And then he pointed out how this camera here the uh, ELPH 300 HS right now is on for 120 bucks. You can pick it up for 120 bucks, and some some places you can get it refurbed for 80 bucks. And overall, it does a pretty damn good job. Like this is probably one of Canon's best cameras they put out in a long time for a point and shoot, for even for a cheap video solution. Oh friggin', I'm, I'm running the green. I don't give a shit. I got things. Friggin' dawdler, dickheads. But uh, yeah, and he was showing some color correcting tips and some other things to make your video look a lot more cinematic. And oh, it was friggin', it was a great, great video. I really, really liked it. So I'm gonna try some of those effects on this vlog and tell me if you guys see a difference, if things look better or worse. And unfortunately, there's nothing I can do for the audio unless I really wanna up my editing time. And on a 30 minute vlog, if I were to do what I wanted to do for my audio, it would probably take me about three hours to cut it all together and make it work. And that would just be brutal. That, my friends, would just be brutal. So, I, I like to keep it simple. That way the long videos are easier to edit. But, break it. Well, we're down here at the Subway Max Mart. Uh, I'm not handicapped, so I can't park there. This Toynus has a trailer, so he's taking up half the freaking parking lot. So I'm just going to stove my car here for now and hope to Christ I can get back out. Alrighty. You can see the reflection of the dash off the window. That's cocked. Alright, so I'm going to go get this uh, subway and I shall return. Peace out. Okay, so we got our freaking subway. 
we got our freaking subway. Let's get the frig out of here now, or at least try to. Holy shit. That was not easy to do, people. I almost ran over a guy with a cooler. Pretty insane. Ah, oh, here's hoping tonight's an easy night at work. Here's hoping we're also full staff and I don't have to be prime. Because <laughs> uh, I like just sitting around and taking her easy and doing calls and not having to do all the extra bullshit. Guess we'll just have to wait. To Freak's sakes, another freaking red light. It's gonna be 10 2 by the time I get there. Yeah, freaking 10 2. I know it. I didn't know I wore a jacket today. It's not even jacket weather. It's gonna be tonight though. It's probably gonna drop down to 8 again. This whack weather, I'm telling you, last week or yesterday it was like freaking 10 degrees out. Today it's 23 degrees out. Tomorrow, watch, it'll be 5 degrees out. It's just dicked. Yeah, they're still doing this construction here. They're gonna have to giddy up on it because winter's coming and I swear these construction crews just freaking dawdle. They're unionized, right? So they only do so much work a day trying to maximize their paychecks, which I don't blame them, but like, come on. You gonna, you gonna make that turn, bud? Holy shit. Ooh, almost got killed. Alrighty, we're at freaking work. Now let's find a place to park this bazoo. Oh, this could be an opening. This could be an opening. This could be an opening. Nice. Thought it was the nurse's parking spot. That's what I wonder too. Now that the company's selling everything, are the nurses next door gonna have to find a new building to work out of? I don't know. Anywho, I'm at work, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace out. What a freaking gorgeous night. Nice and sunny out. Wearing a jacket, but don't need to. No wind. Holy shit. First break of the evening. Right on. So it looks like my buddy Wilson Tech won there. He's in fifth place for the uh, Super Note. Looks like the person in first place has quite the freaking lead. Probably super popular person on YouTube. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But, you know, you know. If everybody out there who makes videos got involved, we could probably push Wilson up. I'm just, I'm just saying, we'd probably get Wilson Tech up there. Lamar would probably be really happy. So it's just, it's just a thought I'm throwing out there. If anybody else wants to get involved, just by all means, you know, he'd probably be super happy if everybody else dropped a bid and then tagged it to his video, which I'm also going to link on this video so that people, if they want to be helpful and want to do it, can do it and help Lamar because that'd be super cool. So, so far tonight's been going by pretty good. Hasn't been too busy, but it hasn't been too slow. So that's all right. Nice and uh, nice and easy going. Calls coming in, dealing with them. You know how it is. So I don't mind that. It's pretty rock on. Not sure, well, tonight when I get home actually, I need to do some more gameplays. So I'm probably gonna play some GTA 4 tonight when I get home, cause I'm out and I wanna get back into that game and do some more missions and other things. And I need to get back into uh, Minecraft and do some more missions, get into that. So I'm probably gonna roll those two games until I finish one. Well, you can't finish Minecraft unless you go to the end and kill the dragon. But the uh, only problem I have with Minecraft is my server renews in 78 days and I don't know if I'm gonna bother to pay to renew it because, well, I really don't like the server. <laughs> so I might uh, end the Let's Plays when the server expires and then not bother renewing the server and probably carry on with uh, the SinStick server. Or I might renew it for another year, I don't know. Or I might find another hosting that's cheaper and, re and open up there. But uh, either way, I'm gonna be dropping the server itself and restart from scratch, so. But I'm gonna play this one right through, frig it. I just really don't like multiplayer. They give you no support, and the service sucks. It's slow as frig, and they charge out the ass. And it was kind of a spur of the moment purchase because, well, a lot of bullshit went down. See, we were playing on a buddy server back in the day, and uh, it was me and Logie, and we were having a lot of fun. And then uh, one individual who will remain nameless decided to be a little bitch and started griping to the admins that we were flagging them and we we're griefing them and 
all sorts of shit and then the uh, even though it was my buddy's own server the other admin decided to flip tits and and ban Logie and I was really pissed off about it I'm like for freak's sakes like what the hell why and he's like oh he, oh, he does cause problems blah, blah blah you know he wrecks servers and I was like for freak's sake so I ended up leaving so Logie and I were hunting for another server to play on couldn't find any so I said frig it one night and I just went and bought the multiplayer server and set it up and then we called that home and then we got a bunch of people on YouTube to play on there we started our own little community and it was awesome so we were playing on that server just hanging out and stuff and then uh, Logie came across the Sinstick server so we started playing on Sinstick and then I never touched my server for like four or five months until recently when I brought it back online and started doing these let's play videos now what I plan on doing is carrying on and once the server is done then I'm going to uh, probably axe that server and maybe I'll do let's plays on the Sinstick server I don't know I'm pretty far ahead on the Sinstick server right now I got a pretty sweet house and we just opened up a store me and Billy, Bill's team Max teamed up and opened up a store we called it BNS Variety which is funny because you know BS bullshit and variety you know probably gonna do a commercial for it and see if we can put it up on the Sinstick uh, Sinstick's friggin uh, YouTube account since stick entertainment and uh, see what we can do but any hoozle I'm pretty much done my cigarette choose to right down to the stump so I'm gonna head her back inside and I'll talk to you guys on my lunch so peace the frig out that's one feature I love about this camera is the fact that this accent color I like only greens show up right now everything else is black and white it's pretty sweet I guess you could use this for certain features, eh? Like, now only the blue sky shows up colored. Everything else is all black and white. Kind of a neat feature. A lot of cloud over there. Oh, blue skies, blue skies, gray tree. Ha, <laughs> pretty sweet. Oh, freak sakes, tubes. It's like eight, quarter after eight, I should say. Just came outside for a Thaggart break, you know? I don't have this thing set to vivid mode anymore. No, it's not set to that anymore. That would have been awkward, because you know it's so dark out. Everything would have been black and white. But uh, yeah, so far tonight, pretty boring night. It's all right. I like it tight. Make it right. Fight. I got nothing. You know what my favorite part about YouTube is people. It's when you report somebody for offering you a death threat, and you report them for like threatening your life, and YouTube reads through it, and then they send you the message back saying this does not violate our community guideline. Oh. I thought threatening somebody's life was highly illegal Corey Trevor. I guess not. I guess I can just say I'm going to murder everybody. You know? Apparently it's not against their terms of service. So that's pretty cool. thought that was kind of neat. You know? Freaking comments. People saying, if I ever met you in real life, I'd murder you. Wow, really? You'd murder me? Like, holy shit. You're freaking awesome, bud. Right on. Also, that reminds me. I got to go back in after and take that freaking Kijiji post off. Kijiji. This morning I woke up with a slew of emails from Kijiji on people wanting to buy the bag. You ever notice that when you post something on Kijiji or for the Americans Craigslist which is basically the same shit as Kijiji. When you post something on there to sell it takes forever for somebody to get a bite but once you get one person who buys it then everybody wants that item. You ever notice that? Like then the slew of emails come in saying oh dude would you take 30? Oh would you take 20? And it's like dude it's already sold it's gone. I got 40, you know? <laughs> you do one of those. You let them know that you got more for it. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, oh. But uh, I gotta pull the post because I haven't done that yet, freak sakes. I think it's a full moon tonight, but you can't tell because it's hiding behind the clouds. So that kind of sucks. I kind of wanted to see if it was a full moon, freak sakes. Oh, there's that full moon. I just can't get a focus on it. Oh, the winds of shit are picking up, people. The winds of shit, they're picking up. Freak sakes. So I'm holding my camera like really close to the wall just so I can like you know try and avoid the wind but I don't think it's working that well so anyway my lunch is almost over I'm gonna head her back inside and carry on with the night I guess I'll talk to you guys on my 10:30 break peace out well it's quarter after 10 and just the same old night you know absolutely nothing to report on found um actually it's been really boring since I haven't had a call yet since my last uh this is my lunch. So when I get bored, I tend to go on Deal Extreme and see what kind of new shit they have. <coughs> and I found that they actually have a case for my Acer Iconia A500. It's cheap. It's like 10 bucks, but uh, it's kind of nice because it has. It's kind of like the case I have for my HP Touchpad, which I like because. Oh shit! See the sparkly lights? Check it out. 
bubblegum machine done hit the jackpot. Right on. Anyway, back on topic. The reason why I like the case for the HP so much is because it's a form-fitting case, not a slide-in sleeve. In the case I have right now for the Acer Iconia, it's a slide-in sleeve. So when you put the Acer Iconia in the upright position, the frickin' thing shits the bed and falls out the bottom. So you can't hit the volume rockers, you can't do anything with it. You can't even use the front-facing camera. So that kind of pisses me off a little bit, but this new case, I'm going to order it up from Deal Extreme. Like I said, it's 10 bucks, and it looks pretty solid. It's got five, well, four and a half star review. One person bitched and moaned because it didn't fit his A200, because the A200 has a different bezel, but it's like, you know what? Pay attention to what you're buying, people. Don't downrate something because it doesn't fit your device when the device was designed, or the item was designed for another device. That's like saying, I bought a case for an iPad, and it wouldn't fit my freaking HTC flyer. That's a ripoff. I'm giving this a one star. Well, you're dumb. You don't do that. Like, come on. That's why whenever I'm on Future Shop and I'm looking at items, I always check to see uh, why people rated it such a low star. Like, for instance, those Logitech speakers I bought, Staples had a really low rating on them, and it was people just thumbsing, thumbing it down and giving it low stars. They're like, oh, this will be better with an iPod dock. Yeah, like it's going to have an iPod dock. They're freaking $30 speakers. Come on, pull up, people. I also found on Deal Extreme the solution to my problem with the Dell X XPS 8300. Remember that PCI Express card with the USB 3.0 that I wanted to install that I couldn't install because the Dell power supply is too modern and it doesn't have Molex connectors? Well, they actually have the freaking SATA power to Molex converters and they're 97 cents each or 50 cents each or something like that, really cheap. So I'm going to order one up or a couple up I should say and I'm going to stove one in my rig and then get that PC, yeah, that USB 3.0 coming out of the RS end so that I can have some freaking USB 3.0 power and then I can hook up my external hard drives to it and get more speed because I have two USB 3.0 hard drives at home both hooked up to USB 2.0. Yeah, they're fast but they could be faster and they will be faster once I get them on 3.0 so that'd be right on. And uh, lately they've been releasing some camcorders with USB 3.0 support. In the future, if I end up getting a new camera with USB 3.0 support, you see what I'm getting at? It'd be nice to have a cable coming off the ass and to plug it into that. That'd be freaking sweet. But anywho, I'm going to head her back inside because there's not really much to talk about tonight. And uh, we'll talk to you later when we're heading home. So peace the frig out. Oh, holy shit, work's done. We're going to go to the Hortons, meet up with Rex 4x4, and then head her home. So let's do this. Monster Mash Pumpkin Spiced Muffins. Don't those look like interesting? Oh, looks like Rex is having a pumpkin spice muffin. Hmm, looks like there's something wrong with the filling, bud. <laughs> is it your favorite kind? It's your favorite kind. Uh, I got a, that kind. I got a little on the outside. Yeah. Okay, people. Well, Frig, we're down here at the Horns. We just hung out and watched some YouTube videos and chatted and came across some funny video ideas that we probably will never get done because we're like that, but you never know. And uh, Rex is just wiping down his seat and I'm going to fire up the DR and he's going to hit the frickin' road and I'm going to fire up my car and hit the frickin' road too because I do that. Alright, peace the frig out. Alright, little tubes. I'm home now. going to have to edit and upload all this, so it's going to be pretty busy. So I'm going to shut her down here. And if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging. Look what some asshole in a white Trans Am went and did. <laughs> I don't think you guys remember that day. When I got home, I said, yeah, guys, I just did a wicked freaking burnout at my parents' house, but I wasn't filming it. <laughs> I wasn't even giving it. I was just hanging on it for a bit and then got off of it. And apparently the smoke was intense and I left a nice little stripe at the end of the driveway. Whoops. <laughs> well, people, I think fall's coming. I'm pretty damn sure fall is coming. Or it's already here. Dad's got a pile of leaves up here. He's got to mulch the shit out of that. Oh, boy, so much work. Yeah, garden's still there. Tomatoes still popping up. Freaking crazy. Resilient tomatoes. Oh, look at this. Look at this, guys. Dad's on the Kindle hard. On the Kindle hard. Like, 
Look at, look at his face. Like, he is one with the Kindle. The Kindle? I can't find nothing. I know. It's because it's Kindle, and we're Canadian, and that's not a Canadian device. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I know. You keep telling me it's that. It's been converted. It's been converted, people. It's been converted. Whatever that means. Uh, Dad? I think you're Bob's dick. It's cracked. <laughs>